Hey guys, uh, Rock here. I'm going to uh, put together a two-part video series here which is going to show you how to both install and configure the Arma 3 Sync Client. Uh, the Arma 3 Sync Client is a uh, Arma 3 launcher which can connect to and synchronize with an add-on repository. In this case the repository is lying on the Citadel and it publishes a list of add-ons which are required to uh, play games on the Citadel and custom missions. So this basically takes the guesswork out of, uh, you know, which uh, add-ons do I download, uh, you know, where do I put them, those kind of things. So we'll start off with uh, going to get the Arma 3 Sync uh, installable package that is available on the Armaholic site. I will place a link to that in the article that I post this video in. Uh, the actual links to the files are at the bottom. There are two sites you can choose from. Uh, if one is down or is slow, you can always click on the other. Although I tend to find that they're both available and they both fairly fast. Uh, one thing to note is that the Arma 3 Sync client uh, does require the Java Runtime 7. Uh, chances are you guys already have this installed, but if not, you can follow the link here, which will take you to the page for Java, which is hosted by Oracle. And uh, I'd imagine most of you folks are running Windows 7, 64-bit. Uh, You're going to want to download and install this particular executable right here. So I've already taken the liberty of, of going ahead and downloading both of these files uh, just to save time. So they're in my downloads directory, as you can see. Uh, we'll install the prerequisite first, which is the Java client. Uh, this is all pretty straightforward, next, next, next types of installs, uh, nothing really to change. You can change the destination folder. Um, I'm just going to go with the uh, defaults in that case. Uh, this shouldn't take too long to install. And that is pretty much it. Alright, that is done. And now we can go ahead and launch uh, the installer. So let's double click on that and uh, we accept the agreement. You can install it to a directory of your choice. I'll just keep the defaults here and uh, we'll put an icon for it on the desktop. And away we go. It's a quick installation. I'm not going to launch it right away. When you launch it right away um, it tends to actually not work because it needs administrative privileges. So it usually crashes out on that initial launch. So I'll close all this up and uh, I'll get ready to actually launch the client officially. And the first thing, first thing it's going to ask you for here is, uh, you know, where is your executable for Arma 3 located? So it is right here. There's a chance, I suppose, you may have to drill down through your file structure in order to uh, select the executable. In my case, it seems to have found it automatically. And I think the reason for that is it's located in a default location. So we're going to open that and OK. And that is it. The Arma client is, uh, Arma 3 Sync client is officially installed. Um, you can set some options here. Um, the first is uh, in the launcher you can choose if you want to use something beyond the default profile. Uh, in my case I have several profiles set up on my main PC. Uh, one that I use for editing and the other I use for playing. Uh, in this case there is only the default profile. Uh, there's some other switches here. Um, no pause is you can actually um, alt tab or, or move out of the window that you're playing the game in and the game will continue to run in the background. Uh, Windows mode, you can you know run the game in a, in a window instead of full screen. Um, I like to do that for editing. Uh, you know you guys probably don't do that very much. And uh, down here you can play with some performance settings. Uh, you know, it's hit or miss on, on whether or not these things help you. Uh, you know, you can limit the amount of memory being used, uh, the number of CPU counts, uh, how many threads in those CPUs are actually being leveraged. Uh, people say there's various different combinations work for them. Uh, I think your mileage will vary, and that's up to you to test that out. Uh, one thing I will uh, usually click off here is I don't want to see the splash screen and you know start the world empty so you're not loading as many files when the game first starts. Um, other than that, um, that's pretty much it. You could actually start the game at this point. Uh, there's also, if you have add-ons, they would show in here you could refresh this and the add-ons would 
would appear on what you already have installed and uh, you can select which ones you want to use but we'll talk about that in the next video so that is about it uh, the clients installed up and running it's pointed to your Arma uh, um, EXE and you are configured with some base uh, command line switches uh, to launch your game that's about it these things over here is what we're going to get into with the next video so that wraps up this I hope this was uh, easy to install I'm, I'm sure you guys would have no issue with this and uh, we'll uh, see you in the next video when we talk about actually configuring your add-ons and connecting to the server uh, the Citadel and uh, linking up and syncing up with the published add-ons for that see you over on the next video